Hey guys, what is up today? So I have here with me the Chromebook Spin 713. Just um, just ignore the big monitor behind me. <laughs> Basically, I can't be bothered to move it. But yeah, we are talking about the Chromebook Spin 713. And first off, can I just say it's my favorite Chromebook, hands down. But actually one of the best things about it is the convertibility. Here I am showing the convertibility off. Oh my God, crazy. So yeah, this is just a video to show you how I use these modes in everyday life. First off, notebook mode. This is, well, this is probably the most obvious mode as it is a notebook, but maybe it's the mode I'll spend the least amount of time on because this is just your general, this is your general work mode. For your general productivity and your document-based tasks, this is the mode you're gonna find yourself in. And I usually use this mode for work because I'm usually sat at a desk and I need access to the keyboard and to the trackpad. But don't, don't let this laptop fool you. It does still have an edge over your everyday notebook. Yep, I said it, I offended your laptop. <laughs> First of all, the trackpad here is coated with Corning Gorilla Glass, which just makes it super smooth to use, and it's a really, it's a really good large size too. Yeah, I really like the trackpad. And the keyboard is nice, it's shallow, but it's still snappy. But the screen here is the biggest change you will see from a regular laptop, as it gets rid of the old widescreen 16 by 9 aspect ratio in favor of a taller and more square 3 by 2 ratio. It's, it's so good. That's what I have to say. Actually, no, it's not. <laughs> what I have to say is it's hard to go back to viewing documents and like browsing, reading, all those kind of things on a regular laptop screen because you just realize that all the extra width around the side of a normal screen to the sides of your document is kind of just wasted. Look at all that, it is wasted. So I really appreciate this change. Now, tent mode. This is really the best for when you're watching or viewing any kind of content. So you'd want the device somewhere where you can easily see it, but you don't need the keyboard to be in the way. So you just wanna bring that display closer to you. And actually this mode really shines when you're short of room for the device. Say you want a clutter table, like I am most of the time, and you're looking at a reference photo for something to draw, or you're looking up a recipe you can make for dinner. So you can easily just put it on the table or put it on a counter, because it takes up such little surface area and it's just easier to view than on your phone isn't it i really like that and actually this would really work well on public transport too like a train or a plane obviously not right now but it is nice to dream <laughs> where you only have the tray table available because they're kind of small and this would fit nicely on it and also for, from like a hygiene 2020 hygiene perspective um, there's not that many points of contact to the surface and i believe the panel is coated with antimicrobial corning gorilla glass too which is just lovely and also I did think maybe on a tray table like this, well, not on a tray table like this, I don't have a tray table to show you, but maybe on a tray table, it could be a little bit precarious, you know, but actually it's military grade tested, so it can withstand quite a lot, including four foot drops. Um, so here I am knocking over on the table. It's not four foot, but this is all I have available. Actually, the first time I tested this out, I knocked the laptop over and it was fine. <laughs> this is the second time I'm knocking over now. Um, but the first time I knocked over, I also knocked over my pot of coffee behind it which was not fine, that was really fun to clean up. But yeah, the laptop is built twice now and it is all good. Now our next mode is display mode or easel mode. I call it display mode, some people call it easel mode. Actually, I understand why, because this is another one where you don't need the keyboard, you just want the screen to be as close to you as possible. So this could be really good for drawing or, you know, to use as an easel. I actually, I'll be honest, I don't actually use it this way, but that's just because I love the tablet mode for drawing. However, for the sake of my posture, rather than hunching over a tablet, maybe I should actually give this mode a try. But actually what I use this mode for is just browsing and watching videos. So if I don't have a table handy for tent mode, which you know, to be honest, if I'm snuggling down to watch a film, chances are I'm not gonna be at a table. I'm gonna be lying down on the sofa, on the bed, whatever. So you can just slap this laptop on your lap or on the bed and bingo, watch away. Also, side note, handy little side note, in this configuration, the bottom of your laptop, where the vents to the fans are, are actually facing up rather than facing down against the bed. So this is really great for airflow, and if any of you have ever suffered from a toasty laptop on the old leggies or the bed, you will appreciate this too. And finally, tablet mode. This is what my 713 finds itself doing a lot, <laughs> maybe most of the time, to be honest, uh, when I'm just sat at home, because it just comfortably sits on my lap like this. And actually I had an old tablet, but I basically swapped it out for this one because this one's bigger, it's 13.5 inches and the screen is super nice and bright and easy to use. So yeah, I really use this mode to draw, doodle. I think this mode's easiest for that because I can really get up in there close and personal. 
I, I believe I'm using Adobe Sketch here, but even with my finger and without a stylus, it is really sensitive. However, I would say in hindsight, I probably for the pencil work, I probably should have used a stylus to get a bit more precision, but we live and we learn. Uh, it's also great for playing games, sitting on the sofa because it's light, it doesn't really get in the way. And actually having a screen that's a little bit bigger, it's just nicer to play those mobile based games on rather than actually on your phone. And this convertibility is just practical from a work aspect because you could be doing your work in notebook mode, blah, 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 on Excel, whatever. And then you can bring that thing down, flip it and reverse it straight into tablet mode and then hand it over and be like, oh, Mr. Bob, here are the expense reports. I hope everything's in order. Okay, Bob's not impressed, but <laughs> I am. Oh, you know what I should try? I should find, um, you know, that YouTube video of like the fish swimming. Maybe, maybe Bob will like. Anyway, I need to wrap this up. Anyway, that is all from me and the Spin 713. Honestly, I, I kind of love this device. I do love this device because it brings together quality and ease of use. But yeah, let me know if you'd like to see more videos with it and let me know how you'd use it down below. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.